Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. It's a week before the semis and our search for the last semi-finalist and possible wild cards continues. Stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Pero sa araw na to, apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check. Unang-una, si Sin. Si Sin is a fourth-year BS Speech Pathology student from UP Manila. She likes to watch movies, read novels, play computer games, and crochet. She listens to pop, punk, and K-pop. Si PJ naman ay isang graduating student of UP Diliman. He studies electronics engineering, and his hobbies include playing computer and mobile games and watching films during his free time. At ito ang kanyang importanteng gustong sabihin, he also has two cats back home. Si Josh is a journalism student of the Lyceum of the Philippines University. He's invested in literature and history, often reading books from renowned Filipino authors. Si CJ naman ay isang student ng UP Diliman studying philosophy. He loves walking at he loves walking on sidewalks, grassy meadows, mountain trails or on the beach while listening to metal music like Spirit Box. Bring Me the Horizon and Sleep Token. He also dabbles in playing video games and 3D modeling. These four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Ang experts natin today ang ating mga suki. Unang-una, UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History, and of course, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology, UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, first round na kung saan correct answers are 10 points each. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin. This is round one. Contestants, question number one. In geometry, how many sides does a nonagon have? Sin. Nine. Nine is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. If you earned an LLD degree, what profession would you be in? Well, you'd probably be an attorney like me. It would be in the law profession. LLD is short for Lehum Doctor or Doctor of Laws. Question number three. Which K-pop group sold out its three concerts at the new Clark City in February 2024? PJ. Twice. Twice is incorrect. Sin. And hyphen. And hyphen is the correct answer, k -chip. Question number four. How many events are there in the Olympic women's heptathlon? Sin. Seven. There are seven events in the women's heptathlon. k -chip. Question number five. This time in cycling. In a 10-speed bike, usually, how many gears are there in the rear wheel? CJ. 10. 10 is incorrect. Sin. 5. There are 5 gears in the rear wheel. K check. Question number 6. The award that recognizes greatness of spirit shown in selfless service to the peoples of Asia is named after which Philippine president? Ramon Magsaysay. Ramon Magsaysay is the correct answer, k -check. Question number seven. The two most common elements in the universe are helium 
and what other light gas? PJ. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight in mental math this time. What number is 12% of 50? Sin. Six. Six is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. Which fruit associated with Persia and Georgia shares its name with the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom in the world of Super Mario? Sin. Peach. Peach is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. What do you call a reaction in which the nucleus of an atom splits into two or more smaller nuclei? Yes, PJ. Nuclear fission. When the nucleus of an atom splits into two or more smaller nuclei or a sexual reproduction that happens when a single or organism becomes more than one independent organism is fission. The answer is correct. k -check. Question number 11. What form of music is a quiet, gentle song sung to send a child to sleep? Lullaby. Lullaby is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What single of Beanie about a reflecting object? Yes, Sin. Salamin, salamin. About a reflecting object reached number one on the Billboard Philippines Songs chart on June 8, 2024. The correct answer is Salamin, salamin. K check. And that's it for round one. And that was our first round. After that round, let's have a sports recap. We have Sin in the lead with 70 points, followed by PJ with 40, Josh and CJ with some catching up to do. At eto na po, bago tayo magpatuloy, eto na po ang paboritong portion natin kung saan tinitingnan natin kung ano pa ba ang meron sa likod ng mga mukha ang mga ninanervyos na mukha ng ating mga contestants. Unahin po natin si Sin. Sin! Marami ka na bang naganchilyo? That's not a very common thing to do in this day and age. So noon sinasabi na yung crochet daw e pang matanda lamang. So bakit nga ba dumadami ang nagko-crochet sa ganitong panahon? Um, I think it's the ano po kasi, parang nako-customize mo yung mga pwede mong suotin. So kapag nagko-crochet ka kasi, pwede kang gumawa ng kahit ano. So um, pwede ako mag-design ng ayun, clothes and hats and bags. Tapos I can do it all by myself. Well, that's true, no? Many of the major clothing brands, eh, meron silang mga crochet tops, crochet jackets. So pwede mo nang gawin yun on your own. Pagkatapos naman si Sin, ang tatunin natin si PJ. Dahil talagang binanggit mo pa talaga ang dalawa mong pusa, ibig sabihin ay eh, namimiss mo sila. So, why don't you tell us more about your pet cats? Okay. Those two cats specifically. Okay. May dalawa po akong puspin, si Zoya and Aki po. Uh, miss ko po sila kasi po, uh, nagdodorm po ako eh. So, the only chance I get to be with them kapag po umuwi ako every weekend. And makulit po silang dalawa. Pero marami namang pusa, di ba, dito sa... Uh, yes po, pero uh, iba po talaga pag sarili niyo po pusa na pinalaki niyo. Yes, yeah, syempre. Well, thank you very much. Although, personally, I'm not a cat person, so... <laughs> sa mga aso ba, hindi ka mahili? Ah, may aso rin po ako dati po. Uh, pero wala kang aso ngayon na mamimiss mo sa bahay? Uh, wala po. <laughs> wala. wala po. Sige, maraming salamat, PJ at sa Kasin na talagang kinausap natin at babalikan natin si Josh at saka si CJ. Nakalimutan ko palang sabihin, ito po ang, ang ating pong pamaritong segment ay ang Kay Chica. So, paghahandaan po ulit natin sa round 2 ang Kay Chica. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng Kay Chica. Welcome back at tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. But before that, isang points recap. Of course, we have Sin in the lead with 70 points, followed by PJ with 40, Josh and CJ with a little bit of catching up to do. Pero mahaba pa, di ba? Meron pang second and third rounds. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, ay 
Ang itutuloy natin ay ang ating paboritong segment called Kay Chica, di ba? Sa turn naman ni Josh at saka ni CJ, Josh muna. What Filipino literature pieces have you been particularly interested in lately? Um, ngayon po meron po akong biniling libro ni NVM Gonzales. Pero po, um, may binabasa po ako ngayon yung kay, kay F. Shunil Jose, then yung mga short stories, then yung kay, kay Nick Joaquin, yung yung questions of heroes. Uh, masarap po kasing basahin yun. Kung baga, uh, may natututuhan kang hindi mo natutuhan nung nasa grade school ka, nasa high school ka, and lalo na ngayong college. Kung baga, uh, self, sa sarili mo mismo, madidiscover ka na marami ka pang matututuhan na hindi naturo sa loob ng eskwela. Ano nga ba ang current course mo? Journalism. A journalism. But it's very refreshing and interesting na merong isang estudyante belonging to this present generation na meron pang hilig at tiyagang magbasa ng mga ganyang mga klasing literature, no? Kasi alam mo naman ang Gen Z, ibang-iba ang mga kanilang pinagtutuunan ng pansin ngayon. So mabuhay ka dyan sa ginagawa mo niya. CJ naman, di ba? Napakaserene ng mga places where you love to walk. Grassy meadows, mountain trails. Pero bakit naman ang nasa earphones mo ay metal, di ba? Bakit ganito ka-extreme ang setup mo when you take your walks? Um, I think, ano po, nasanay na rin po kasi ako from sa bahay. Uh, most of my uh, kapatid po, mga piniplay po nila rock, uh, I just, ano po, I made it more extreme lang. So, if I walk po, <laughs> yun, yun na, nasanay na lang po talaga. So, yung mga binanggit mo mga rock bands kanina, are they classified as heavy metal bands? Ah, uh, opo. Oo nga, parang merong disconnect pero you find relaxation and um, peace. Peace po. <laughs> Maraming salamat Josh at CJ. Di ba napaka-interesting ng ating mga contestants? Pero nalalaman lang natin yan dahil meron tayong portion na ang tawag natin ay... Kay Chica. At maraming salamat for, your, for sharing things about yourselves. And now, it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in. But this time, make sure to strategize. Dahil sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. This is round two. Contestants, this is question number one. What do you call a loud explosive noise caused by the shock wave from an aircraft traveling faster than the speed of sound? Sin. Sonic boom. Sonic boom is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. Complete the idiom that means to pledge to tell the truth. The idiom is swear on a stack of blank. You need to swear on a stack of Bibles. Question number three. The Empire State Building is the most photographed structure in what U.S. city? Sin. New York. New York is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. Which famous British band split up in 1970? PJ? One Direction. Sin. Backstreet Boys. Josh? Beatles? Oo. Ang Backstreet Boys ba ay British? <laughs> so, which famous British band split up in 1970 after charting 20 number one singles? The correct answer is The Beatles' K-Check. Question number five. On March 11, 2023, the single Die For You rose to number one in the Billboard Philippines song chart. Which female singer recorded Die For You with The Weeknd? Sin. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is the correct answer. K-check. Sabi ni Josh, alam ko din yun eh. Question number six. What country is the setting of the 2003 Tom Cruise movie, The Last Samurai? Sin. Japan. Of course, Japan. K-check. 
Question number seven. Which Shakespeare title character had a wife named Desdemona? The correct answer is Othello. Question number eight. In May 2024, the Monetary Board of the BSP was rocked by the resignation of board members amid allegations of hiring ghost employees. What does BSP stand for? PJ. Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Banco Central ng Pilipinas is the correct answer. k -check. Question number nine. In what island country in the Caribbean did the Bay of Pigs invasion happen? in 1961. CJ. Cuba. Cuba is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In October 2023, the singles 7 and 3D yes sin. In October 2023, the single 7 and 3D became back-to-back -back number one hits for which Korean singer? Josh. Jungkook. Jungkook. Mahilig ka sa K-pop? K-check. Question number 11. In what 1999 film was the character Neo, played by Keanu Reeves, made to choose between a blue pill and a red pill? CJ. Matrix. The matrix is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. In what city in Pangasinan was the Bangus Festival held from April 14 to May 4, 2024? PJ. Dagupan. Dagupan is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round two. So let's see how our contestants did after that second round. Well, we have seen in the lead with 130 points, followed by PJ with 70 points, Josh and CJ are tied in third place with 40 points each. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban dahil padating ang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check, isang Points recap bago tayo magpatuloy. Our score so far, Sin with 130 points, PJ with 70, Josh and CJ tied in third place with 40 points each. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, contestants, dito sa final round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. And this is a multiple-choice round. And remember, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. So, let's begin. So, we're about to begin the ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, contestants, there are 360 points in this third round, so it's anybody's game at this point. So, let's start the ball rolling. Prof. Sophia. Thank you, Tony Gabby. What artistic style involves applying hundreds, if not thousands, of small dots of color to a canvas which, when viewed from a distance, blend together? A. Impressionism B. Pointillism C. Sin B. Pointillism I'll just finish the options C. Abstract Expressionism D. Collage E. Cubism uh, When we think of dots, now we think of points So, pointillism is correct K. Check Sin, you have made Prof. Sophie very happy by by answering her question correctly. Tandaan niyo hindi lang kayo ang nagko-compete. Nagko-compete din ang ating panel of experts kung masasagot ang kanilang mga katanungan. Prof. Neil. Who is the Secretary of the Department of Migrant Workers? A national government agency from the merger of different migration-related offices that was established during the term of President Rodrigo Duterte A. Silvestre Bello B. Hans Kakdak C. Arnel Ignacio D. 
Bernard Olalia, E. Susan Ople. Susan Ople. Mali. Ang sagot na Susan Ople, siya yung una. Pero pumanaw na si former Secretary Ople. Ang pumalit sa kanya, yun ang tamang sagot. So, B. Hans Kakdak. Ako, kaibigan ko yan si Hans Kakdak. Hello, Sir Hans. <laughs> Prof. Marla. Science naman. Which term refers to small, rocky objects that orbit the sun, most of which can be found in a belt between... Sin. Asteroid. Let me continue. Between Mars and Jupiter. A. Comets. B. Asteroids. C. Meteors. D. Planets. E. Stars. Your answer was asteroids. That's correct. K. Check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Marla. Second round, Prof. Sophie. According to the Guinness World Records, who is the best-selling fiction writer of all time? A. Jane Austen. B. Agatha Christie. C. Arthur Conan Doyle. D. Stephen King E. J.K. Rowling um, Until I found out with this bit of information, I never knew how popular mystery stories are. No? So the correct answer is Agatha Christie. Prof. Neil. This culture of patronage encourages Filipinos to rely on an intermediary whenever possible, especially in dealings with the government. A. Compadre system B. Kin network C. Nepotism D. Reciprocity C. Nepotism Mali E. Synergy a. Compadre System Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Compadre System. K. Check. Gusto niyo na talaga si Prof. Neil. Prof. Marla. What hormone helps increase appetite? A. Ghrelin B. Oxytocin C. Estrogen D. Serotonin E. Prolactin A. Ghrelin. A. Ghrelin is correct. K. Check. So that is the second round, the end of the second round. And at the end of the second round, we have Sin with 250 points, followed by PJ with 55, followed by Josh with 40 points, and CJ with 25 points. We have two more rounds to go. So let's start the last half. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Okay, it's time to be really brave. In the early 20th century, an artistic movement arose in reaction to the violence of World War I. Rejecting the logic and reason that led to the war, this movement embraced chaos and irrationality. What was this artistic movement called? A. Realism B. Surrealism C. Cubism D. Dadaism E. Modernism PJ B. Surrealism Mali po. Anyone want to steal? Nauna na ang bell natin. Okay, so um, it was a violent reaction no, to order and reason that led to the war. So they're kind of like the early punks of the early 20th century. And the artistic movement is called Dadaism. Raming salamat, Prof. Sophie. Prof. Neil. Sinong scholar ang nagsulong ng teorya na ang mga astronesyano ang mga ninuno ng maraming Pilipino 
ay nagmula sa kapuloang timog silang Asia na tinawag niyang Nusantao. A. Peter Bellwood B. Alfred McCoy C. Norman Owen D. William Henry Scott E. Wilhelm Solheim II Medyo mahirap yung question okay. na yun, Prof. Neil. Pang-finals na pala. <laughs> <laughs> Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Wilhelm Solheim II. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. Prof. Marla. What extremophile can survive high radiation levels? A. Thermophile B. Halophile C. Acidophile D. Radio resistant. DJ. D. Radio resistant. Let me finish reading the choices. E. Psychrophile. The, the correct answer is D. Radio resistant. K. Check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Marla. Ito na ang huling round natin. So tapusin na natin, Prof. Sophia. Thank you. Ito unahan to. Unahan lang to. What is a painting depicting mostly inanimate objects such as flower arrangements, food, dead animals, rocks, shells, books, jewelry, musical instruments, and the like called? A. Portrait B. Landscape C. Seascape D. Still Life E. Sin D. Still Life um, e genre still life as in unmoving no still is correct K check Masaya si Prof Sophie tingnan natin Prof Neil Lanao del Norte is home to what political dynasty that has ruled the province for decades A Adyong B Alonto C. Badelias D. Kabili E. Dimaporo okay. Magandang love story ito. Nung panahon ni Marcos Sr. may dalawang political dynasty sa Lanao del Norte. Pinakasal niya ang, ang pamilya Kebransa sa pamilyang Muslim na ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E. Dimaporo. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil, Prof. Marla, for the final question for today's show. Okay. What is the main cause of species extinction? A. Climate change B. Habitat destruction C. Pollution D. Overhunting E. Invasive species I'm sorry, but you rang the buzzer too late. What's the correct answer, Prof. Marla? Well, all of these are drivers of extinction, but the primary cause is B, habitat destruction. And that's it for our Paycheck Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations, Sin, our Paycheck Daily winner, with a final score of 280 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with the other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Maraming salamat din kay PJ, Josh, and CJ for joining us today. And of course, to the member of our panel of experts, Professor Sophia, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on KCHEC. Woo!